Hi, this is Dr. Annette, and thanks for watching Dr. Annette's Health Minutes. I wanted to talk for just a moment about cholesterol. Someone mentioned to me yesterday that their doctor said their cholesterol was high, and when I asked them what their number was, they weren't even sure. They said, I don't know, he just told me it was high. Well, let's talk for just a moment about that. I like to see total cholesterol above 140. I've heard other people say lower than that, but honestly, in a natural medicine, from a natural medicine standpoint, you really wanna to see total cholesterol above 140. And I like to see HDL between about 40 and 65, depending on the person. Something else to consider is, of course, your cardiovascular risk ratio, which is determined by taking your total cholesterol divided by your HDL, which gives you a number. So let's consider total cholesterol of 150 divided by a somewhat healthy HDL number of 50 gives you a ratio of three. Anything less than 3.1 is considered healthy. Now, you can use lots of different numbers and come up with different ratios, but if your ratio is three and your cholesterol is a little bit higher, you're still not in a really bad place because your ratio is healthy because the HDL and the LDL are in the proper ratios within your body. Now, of course, a high cholesterol, a super high cholesterol is definitely a concern, but particle size is actually more important than the ratio as far as it comes to cardiovascular risk. But we can discuss that in another video, which would probably take longer than just a couple of minutes. So if you're looking at your cholesterol and you're concerned about your risk, just remember the risk factor number, take your total cholesterol, divide it by your HDL cholesterol, and if it's less than 3.1, you're in great shape, and it, as it goes up, remember your risk gets higher. So the best thing you can do is get that HDL up by using exercise and healthy fats and getting those LDLs down by doing a little bit of exercise and staying away from some of those carbs.